everybody, this is Angelo Quinones and Yerichai Ministries. I Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. The Bible. That's just a deal. Now, let's go to, all right, um, the NASB, okay? And uh, we were studying something the other, uh, something the other day, very interesting, okay. And uh, two, two very interesting things. First of all, the, a proof, one hundred percent proof that Jesus was crucified on a cross, not a stake. Okay, that's just the deal. Um, and we got that from the prophecy of our Lord. I think that's verse eighteen of chapter twenty-one. We're going to look at that again, and then we're going to look at why. Okay. People couldn't recognize Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay, why they couldn't recognize him? And you know, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, say and teach and preach that uh, he came in many forms. That's a lie. First of all, it doesn't say many forms. Even in the in the in the in Mark chapter sixteen, verse twelve, doesn't even say in many forms. Well, let's go to John's Gospel. Okay, this is part two, actually, of this. Uh, set of recordings that has to do with those things that I just spoke about. Right, now, uh, John chapter uh, 20, okay? John chapter 20 and, and, and verse 1 is the coup de gras. And verse 4 of the next chapter is the coup de gras. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's it. Now it says in the NASB, now on the first day, now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene. Okay, well, let me let me just do something right now. Let me actually fix that, guys, because then it's just gonna rotate every time, and then we just can't have that. Okay, okay. Now I could just tilt the phone, and it's not gonna rotate. Okay. Now it says over here. Okay. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb. Okay. Came early to the tomb while it was still dark. Okay, that's a key. That's a key point. While it was still dark, and saw the stone that's lithon in in Greek, already taken away from the tomb. Okay, is that clear? So um, it says over here. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb. While it was still dark and saw the stone already taken away from the tomb okay now interesting interestingly enough okay as i forget my english here in the philippines the watchtower and bible track society's app okay that's the greek p like i like to say has basically the same thing let's check this out okay and we're going to see Right, that they don't say memorial tomb. Now this, now when they say memorial tombs in other uh, so-called scriptures of their uh, uh, translation, we could be ready for that memorial tomb gig with the verse that I showed that I just showed you. Let's check it out. Okay, now I don't know if a commercial is going to pop out, but you know I don't know. No, so far not. Thank God. And let's check this out says over here, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene, okay, came to the memorial tombs? No. Not even in the New World Translation does it have, does it have, okay, memorial tomb. Okay? Tomb. That's it. Tomb. Early, while it was still dark. Huh? And she saw that the stone, the lithon in Greek, had already been taken away from the memorial tomb? No. Tomb. Just tomb. Plain old a tomb. Okay? That's just the deal. Um, where's, uh, where's memorial at? Now, we already saw the Greek word for tomb, okay? Let's check out the Greek over here, okay? 
not here but over there <laughs> okay you understand what i'm saying let's go to this app right here now i, I just downloaded a whole bunch of apps uh bible apps so um i could check out those uh in the future and maybe uh, present this stuff in the, in, the, in a different uh, form no no pun intended <laughs> okay that was not intended guys uh greek word marfe will be uh the date of uh, singular feminine construction if I, you were writing that out what i just said now um it says over here it says te de mia ton sabaton sabaton uh sabaton actually sabaton and that's a week okay uh maria okay maria okay magdalene magdalene ergetai and you see the the uh, the the stem will be here epsilon uh ro and uh, he okay uh i have to see oh, i have to see something there epsilon tie I have to check that out in a second. Uh, that's, con uh, that's a connecting vowel, epsilon, and then tie the a third person personal ending. I'm going to come back to that word. Okay. Um, Proi. And then uh, scatillas. Scatillas. See, that means dark. Scatillas. Okay. Scatillas. And that's dark. Okay. Same Greek word for uh, and darkness fell. Upon the face of the deep. Okay, again, the Greek P. Sigma Kappa, Omicron, Tau, now that it's called Tau, Iota with the uh, acute marker Alpha, Final Sigma. Okay, it says over here, Eti, and then it says, Uses, Ace, Ta, and this is the word for tomb, Ma, Ne, Me, Ma, Ne, Meran. Mane Meran. Okay, that's the word for tomb. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? It says over here, Kai uh, Blepe. Okay? And Blepe uh, means see. And it could mean she saw because that's the context. Okay, Blepe. Uh, that's from Blepo. And they what they did, they kept the stem. Okay? And then... Uh, after the P, they added the Epsilon and Iota, okay? The Iota being uh, the third-person personal ending uh, here, okay? Blepi, okay, from Blepso. Found, found and recorded in Chapter 9 of this uh, 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 book. Es ta mene me'an, mene me'an kai blepe atan... Lithon, and that's stone, and that could be a large piece of stone also. Remember Kenneth's writings. He was a, a historian of the first rank. Okay, and he wrote about different kinds of rock. Okay, in his accounts. Petras, Petra, with an alpha, and then uh, 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 Lithos. Okay, and so uh, Lithos was really a great piece it, it, it's, at times. Because uh, lithos was used to, um, was going to be used to stone Jesus. Okay, they picked up lithos. Actually, they accuse of the plural. So it can be something that you can handle, that you can pick up. I understand that. But in this situation, you're talking about a big, bolder piece. Of, I mean, it, it was big. Only an angel or several human beings can roll that away. Mary wouldn't uh, wouldn't have been able to roll that away herself. So Jesus prepared, okay, an angel to roll, the, you know, that stone away for Mary and for the disciples that would enter into the atom. Not memorial tomb, by the way. You understand what I'm saying? Incidentally, I like to say that anastasis is the Greek, Greek word for resurrection. And not only that, um... I cloned, and this, praise God, you know, he gave me the idea. I, I like to clone verses of scripture, meaning make them similar to other uh, scriptures in the same context, so that, that way I can remember them. I'll give you an example, okay? The, the, the resurrection of Jesus is found and recorded in Matthew chapter 28, verse 6, Mark chapter 16, verse 6, 
and Luke chapter 24, verse 6. Now, it's only John that breaks up the set and puts it at verse 9, okay, puts it later in that, in that uh, uh, chapter uh, 20, okay, so it's at, at chapter 20, verse 9, and it's not even the last chapter. So, I mean, you know, he's the beloved disciple, he can do what he wants, okay, according to that. Okay, now, now um, and also, I cloned some uh, Trinitarian uh, 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 scriptures, okay? Uh, for example, you have, uh, uh, you know, Trinity of scriptures, I should say, for the Trinitarian, okay? 2 <laughs> Corinthians chapter um, 13, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. And that is, you can always clone everything, but at least the verses or the chapters, or sometimes you have them, you know, at the same time. Uh, and then, uh, you know, another Trini uh, Trinity uh, scripture, okay? And don't tell me that Trinity is not found in the Bible, so why? Trimesters are found in the Bible all over the place. And the word trimester is not even there. They got people being pregnant all over the place in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? You understand that, right? Now, um, so, you have uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4, 5, and 6, and 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, verses 4, 5, and 6. You see? You see how you clone those uh, verses of Scripture. And, uh, and, and, and doctrine. Also, see, the blood of Jesus recorded. Where? Well, I think, uh, well, Romans chapter 5, verse 9. And then you have, like, around, uh, and you have, like, uh, I think it's, like, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9, and... First Thessalonians chapter five verse nine. I have to check that out. I have I have to I have to I cloned them so much that uh, they disappeared on me. <laughs> so I have to go back and see if that one is accurate. But anyway, it's like chapter five verse uh, uh, verse nine of certain books that have the blood of Jesus, or that we've been saved from the wrath of God by the blood of Jesus. But anyway, you get the idea. You get the point. Okay. So sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I keep my eyes closed during uh, my speech, you know, or me speaking. Well, it says over here, Te de, okay, Mia, uh, Ton, Sabaton, Sabaton, okay, uh, Maria, Maria. It says over here, He Magdalene, Magdalene, okay, Erchetai. Now, this is the word I want to check, okay? I want to check the Erchetai business. Um... Let me see if it's in the scripture here. No, it's not. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it over here, okay? I forgot if that was an augment or not, okay? So uh, I want to check that. Because sometimes you just forget things in Greek. You just forget them, okay? We're not perfect people. Uh, so, I mean, it built, it, not Bill Mounts, but uh, Dan Wallace forgot all his Greek. I don't know what happened to him. Can somebody please leave a comment on the screen what happened that he forgot, forgot all his Greek and then he relearned it or even got better again? That, that's, a, that's amazing. Okay, that's amazing. Actually, it's not 20, uh, verse 21 is verse, uh, uh, it's, uh, chapter 21 is, is chapter 20. In Spanish, sometimes we say capitulos, chapters for verses. So sometimes that's why I say that, you know, um, in this verse 1. So I didn't even have to do anything. Actually, it'll just go there on its own, verse 1. Now, let me check Erchetai. I want to see if that's an augment or not. Okay. Uh, week. And uh, Mary and Magdalene. Okay. Uh, comes, and that's Erchetai. So that's not an augment at all. Okay, uh, Erchomai, Erchomai is the what? That's a, that's a deponent uh, verb. It's a de definitely, de it doesn't tell you all of that, but, you know, Erchomai, Erchetai. You still have the connecting valve there. Okay, and uh, so it says over here in the present, okay, that's why I said comes, a present indicative middle. Yeah, middle and passive ending. Okay, but active in meaning. Okay, so it's always active in meaning. Uh, even though it has a passive ending, the tie is a passive ending. You see that in your in your in your special uh, four-block uh, quadrant uh, chart. 
Um, now, uh, uh, so uh, that's comes. Okay, not just come or came. Okay, comes. And I just wanted to know if that was an augment, not, and it's not. It's not an augment at all. Okay, augment is sort of like an ED in Greek. Okay, and they put it before uh, consonants, and they put it before a consonant uh, in the verb, uh, in the verbal system. And, but sometimes um, they can lengthen the letter like alpha to an eta and, and, and things of that nature, you know. Okay, and it can show in, in certain... In, in certain situations, okay, it could be either a kappa or a sigma that, sh that could showcase the aorist tense, a simple completed action in Greek. But you see that, um, let's check this word out even further, okay, uh, uh, today, okay, came to the dome. We already saw the semantic range uh, in our earlier studies. She saw, there's no she here, okay? Blepe could be she, he, or it's uh, saw, okay? It, it, you know, um, it's just the context says that it's a, it's a female uh, looking at something, so that's just the deal, okay? Lithon, that's an accusative case construction. That's the object, that's the direct object uh, there. Now, um... It says over here, let's check out the word for darkness or dark, okay? Uh, Mary, it says over here, Magdalene comes, okay, you understand what I'm saying? Comes early, and that's uh, pro e, pro e. That's a diuresis marker there, okay, over the iota, and a grab marker at the same time, pro e. Pro e, or pro e, pro e. Okay, graph marker indicating a drop of accent. Okay, but then you have the diuresis marker telling you that the omega and the iota are not a diphthong; they're to be pronounced separately. Okay, pro e, pro e, not proi. You understand what I'm saying? Don't pronounce that proi. That's not an omicron and iota. That's an omega and iota. Just like in the word for Moses, okay, it has that also, okay, the omega and iota thingy. You understand what I'm saying? Early, pro oi, or, or I'm sorry, pro oi, <laughs> pro i, <-e. laughs> contradicting myself. Okay, so, so in dark is the Greek word, okay, skatias, skatias. Let's check out that one, okay. Tagged by the strongest number of index of 4653. 4653. Let's check this out. The definition will be a K. Yeah, I was right. Actually, darkness. Uh, figure speech. Spiritual uh, spiritual uh, darkness. But the context is not spiritual darkness there. Okay. Now, it could be you were once darkness, now you're light in, in the Lord, you know, Paul says, right? So because you could get you get that out of uh, the Greek word, skatias, okay? But in this situation, you're talking about a setting, a stage setting of a woman walking outside, okay, early, and if it was early, it was dark, okay? That's just the deal. All right, now, um, so let's check this out here. So just remember the Greek word, okay, um, uh, for early, pro e, pro e, and then the word for darkness, skatias, pro e, skatias. It was, it was, it was like uh, Yogi Berra is getting. Late early, well, it's getting dark early. There you go. Okay, that's that. Now, let's go to another chapter. Okay, the 21st chapter. Okay, let's check this out. This is very interesting stuff. It really is. It really is. How, how the Lord it puts it right in front of your face. Why, you know, uh, they couldn't understand. They couldn't, they couldn't uh, recognize, I should say, rather, 
uh, Jesus. It was dark. It was early. Uh, she was weeping. Uh, Woman, why do you weep? Whom do you seek? I mean, she's weeping at the time she's, she's, she's being spoken to by Jesus himself. Okay? She probably wasn't even looking at the guy. She was weeping. Her head was probably down. And maybe she was, uh, maybe she, and, 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 you know something? I want to see that. I want to see before I go to that. Because, because she turned around. That's a very interesting point. Let me go, let me go um, to the NASB. Not only it was dark. Okay, hello? Who's there? You got the key? Okay, good. Not only it was dark, but Mar Mary Magdalene was crying. So, and then she was looking not at the Lord, but at something else. You know, like when you're crying, you're, you're sometimes not looking at the person that you're looking at th that, that's talking to you. You're just looking down or you're crying and the person is behind you or whatever the case may be. But Jesus is speaking to Mary and she's not even looking at him. Let's continue to read this because not only it was dark and early, that's why she didn't recognize him. Okay, after the Anastasis, after the resurrection, but... It was, it was that situation. It says, now on the first day of the week. Now the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene says over here came early to the tomb. And while it was still dark and saw the stone already taken away from the tomb. And then it says over here in verse 2, it says, so she ran and... Ran and came to Simon uh, Peter, okay, and to the other uh, disciple. Now, let's say, hi, my love. Hi. Hi, hon. It's me, daddy, my love. Now, so Simon, now let me see, because uh, that story of her maybe turning around is a little bit more far, farther up ahead, okay? So let's check this out. Hi, my love. It's daddy, my love. Daddy loves you. Jesus said, okay, to her, Mary, okay, here, let's check this out. Jesus said to her, okay, so that's probably hi, Jesus, or just Jesus, or Apen first, or whatever the case may be, uh, to her, and that's out there, Mary, uh, she turned and said to him, turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Rabboni. You see, she turned. Now, where's that verse at? Okay, she turned. Oh, that's verse 16. So not only was she dealing with the darkness, okay, and her weeping, her trauma, seeing Jesus die, right, forgetting the prophecies that was spoken by Jesus that he had to rise on the third day. Uh, they, t they just took him away, she thought, right? So she was dealing with all those emotions in her. All those emotions were stirred like a drink. You know what I mean? So she was dealing with all that. Trauma, darkness, weeping. Huh? His, his uh, image or, or was marred. So marred that she couldn't recognize him anyway. And not only that, probably she was kept. Probably. We can't prove that. We can prove that in Luke chapter 24, verse uh, around 16. But... Maybe the Lord didn't reveal, okay, himself to her earlier. No pun intended because it says earlier over there, uh, uh, right? Early. So let's check this out. Turned. This is a very important Greek word. She turned. Now, if she was looking at him, why would she have to turn? Why? She's going to look at him, and when he's speaking to her, she's going to turn her back to him? Doesn't make any sense at all. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to verse 16, okay? Let's just go like this. This is, uh, do it the old-fashioned way, <laughs> you know? Hi, my love. It's me, daddy, my love. And my, my baby, Anna Devane, is here. Yes, that comes from General Hospital, by the way, you know? Okay, so, and then it says over here, let me see, having turned. Look at that. Having turned. Huh? That's a participle, having turned here. It says over here, uh, uh, strafesa, strafesa, okay? Uh, so, uh, so the sigma there looks like it's a part, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's in the aorist tense, a sigma and alpha there. Having turn is probably a participle. 
And so let's check this. Let's check it out. It says over here, okay, Aris. Okay, I was right. Participle. That's a participle of construction and a passive. Okay, and the passive. Now let's check out the lexical uh, form. Okay. Uh, strefo. Strefo. Okay. Now what's the deal? Let's punch. Let's poke the bear in the eye. Forty-seven sixty two. Forty-seven sixty two. You understand what I'm saying? Let's see it. The definition uh, to turn. Okay. Be converted. Okay, change, a change over here, uh, it says change, uh, change, so let me see, change, direction, okay, my love, it changed her love, it changed, she changed her direction, that's for sure, okay, eh, uh, sera, fesa, era sigma right over there, and uh, alpha, you know, and, uh, and so that's just the deal. And so, and this is a participial uh, form. This is a participle over here. Okay? Aris, participle, passive. Okay? And that's just the deal. Now, uh, actually, uh, strafesa. Strafesa. Okay? Having turned. You see, that's where the ED is because this is an RSS. sense. It's a completed action. Having turned around, it says over here. The full thing, having turned around. Not just having turned, okay, but having turned around, doing a 180. You understand what I'm saying? Not a 360. You understand what I'm saying? A 180. She did a 180. She wasn't looking at him, okay, probably the whole time. And that's why she didn't recognize him. It was dark anyway. She probably couldn't see him anyway. She wasn't expecting the Lord to be there. Okay, she thought it was the gardener because they, they, they were gardening. There's a tomb, okay, near the crucifixion site that probably has to do has to be the tomb of Jesus. There's another one that's very popular and it has a cross and they made a church out of it and this and that. And it's just this little old lonely tomb outside of, the, of that area. And I'll tell you, man, I, I, think it's the, I think it's the one that's just a quiet tomb with a garden and stuff like that. It sounds like the one that it was, not this commercially, not commercialized uh, site and, and, and thing. Well, let me go to my daughter, guys, okay? Let me, because she wasn't feeling well yesterday. And so, uh, yes, uh, today is today. But it's not early, by the way. It was in the afternoon. Now, in my next study, okay, I will show you. Okay, verse 4 of the next chapter. Okay? Because she's going to be crying. She's just going to mess up my study out of the vein. My love. It's me, daddy, hon. It's me, daddy, my love. It's me, daddy. It's daddy. I love you, my love. I love you. I love you, my love. I have to go. That's not going to complicate her. Complicate her you know what I'm saying? That's not enough, guys. All right, so what did we learn? Well, it was dark. She was emotional. We didn't actually read it, but she was crying. She was weeping. Woman, why do you weep? Uh, who do you seek? And this thing is rolling by itself. You saw that? This is strange. It's, it's, it's gracious. Woman, why do you weep? Uh, whom do you seek? So she was crying. She wasn't looking at him. It was dark. She was emotional. She was stressed. She thought it was a gardener. And that's just a deal. Not that he came in another farm. The Watchtower doesn't even have in their app, okay? And I'm going to show you this. Verse 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever the case may be. The Castle of Mark is absolutely a glorious thing, guys. Okay, so I just want to show you this very quickly, okay? Uh, let me see here. That's what Mark, I'll be, I'll be with my daughter in a second, guys. I'm just trying to uh, finish this for you. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, uh, it's 2% on the phone anyway left. Okay. So let's, uh, let, let's look at it. Verse, uh, ch chapter, uh, chapter 16. Well, it goes to, uh, is it, oh, wait for a second. Did I get chapter 16? Let me see, wait for a second. Let's see, what is this? Okay. Wait. Okay. 
Legal Service, hey, you don't have to worry with the present day JW. He can't go if he's using this app to verse 12 anyway. He can't even go to verse 9. Okay, they're using uh, the most ancient authorities. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, they, they got caught with their head in the cookie jar. I mean, if they go beyond verse 8, well, then why not believe that God was manifested in the flesh? Okay? If they stay right here, well, they ain't no form business to deal with with the witnesses. So they're just stuck either way. We got them coming and going. So it was dark. We saw the Greek words for early darkness. I mean, we, we, we saw it all across the board. Okay, all across the board. Now, in our next study, we're going to see verse 4 of a different account. The third appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. You understand what I'm saying to the disciples? And that's just the deal. That's, a, that's recorded in the next chapter. At uh, chapter uh, 21, verse 4 of the Gospel. Kata Ioanni. This angelo kinyon is given total glory. So the God of Israel, God is not the God of the dead, no pun intended, but of the living. <laughs> that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were very much alive at the time that Jesus said those words. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, it's a Greek P. And then please leave a comment on the screen. Okay? So um, that's it for now. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye.